Compared to the general population, people with chronic kidney disease have a higher burden of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. People with advanced stages of chronic kidney disease, such as stage four or five, or end-stage kidney disease receiving dialysis therapy, are at a greater risk of myocardial infarctions, strokes, and peripheral artery disease events. A cardiovascular cause accounts for 50 to 60% of all deaths in this patient population. Antithrombotic therapy is a core intervention in the prevention of cardiovascular events in the general population. But since most cardiovascular trials evaluating antithrombotic therapies excluded individuals with advanced chronic kidney disease, there are no evidence-based guidelines for antithrombotic therapies in this population. The COMPASS trial showed that low-dose rivaroxaban has a favourable benefit to harm balance in patients with chronic kidney disease. However, very few patients with stage four chronic kidney disease were enrolled in the COMPASS trial. And patients with stage five disease, an estimated EGFR of less than 15 mLs per minute, were excluded. Due to the increased risk of thrombosis and bleeding complications in patients with advanced chronic kidney disease, only an adequately powered trial can address the uncertainty regarding potential benefits and harms of antithrombotic agents in this patient population. The primary objective of the TRAC trial is to test the hypothesis that compared with placebo, low-dose rivaroxaban significantly reduces the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events in patients with advanced chronic kidney disease and elevated cardiovascular risk. Blood thinning medications, which prevent blood clots forming, have been proven to be beneficial and are frequently used to help people who are at higher risk of cardiovascular disease. However, these blood thinning medications also increase the risk of bleeding. In people with normal kidney function or mild kidney disease, the benefit of blood thinning medication in preventing heart attack and stroke is greater than the harms of these medications such as increased bleeding. Unfortunately, patients with advanced kidney disease, including those requiring dialysis, have been frequently excluded from clinical trials of these blood thinning medications. Compared with people who have normal kidney function or mild kidney disease, those with advanced kidney disease not only have higher rates of cardiovascular disease, but they also have higher rates of bleeding. At the moment, we don't know whether blood thinning medications are beneficial or harmful in people with advanced kidney disease. So these potentially life-saving medications are often not prescribed to these high-risk patients. TRAC is an investigator-initiated, international, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled and event-driven trial and will enroll 2,000 participants. Adult patients with estimated GFR less than 30 ml per minute, including those requiring dialysis and at least one cardiovascular risk factor are eligible to participate in the trial. These cardiovascular risk factors include age greater than 65 years, diabetes mellitus, previous history of coronary artery disease, ischemic stroke, and peripheral artery disease. Patients with a known indication for or contraindication to anticoagulants will be excluded from the trial. Other exclusion criteria are high bleeding risk and kidney transplant recipients with a functioning allograft. Patients who are currently taking an antiplatelet agent such as clopidogrel or ticogrelor or dipyridamol are eligible for participation if patients and their treating physicians agree to stop these medications. Patients who are taking aspirin are eligible and aspirin can be continued throughout the trial. Participants in the experimental group will receive rivaroxaban 2.5 mg twice daily and those in the control group will receive a match placebo. The primary efficacy outcome measure is a composite endpoint of cardiovascular death, non-fatal myocardial infarction, stroke, 
on peripheral artery disease event. The key secondary outcome measures include all cause death, venous thromboembolism, and net clinical benefit outcome, which is a composite of efficacy and bleeding outcomes. The safety outcome measure is major bleeding, which is a composite or endpoint of fatal bleeding, symptomatic bleeding into a critical area or organ, and bleeding leading to hospitalization. In most situations, temporary discontinuation of the study medication will be sufficient to manage participants who develop bleeding or require surgery. Detailed guidance on how to manage study medication in various clinical situations is provided in the trial protocol and on the trial website. For more information, please visit our website, tracktrial.org, or send us an email. Our email address is tracktrial at georginstitute.org.au.